Sound the klaxon. We have a new movie coming out. Since 2020, this has been a rare thing to say. But Disney's latest animated movie, Raya and the Last Dragon, is set to come out this year. Initially scheduled for November 2020, is set to be released in March 2021, and will take place in the realm of Kumundra, where a warrior named Raya seeks to find the very last dragon. The movie is highly anticipated and expected to be another powerhouse movie in Disney's slate. This is in part down to the acting talent involved, with Disney looking to one of their other properties, Marvel, to fill out the cast. But which Marvel actors will be lending their voices exactly? Let's take a look. Let's start off with one of the movie's biggest stars, the actor behind the character of Sisu, Nora Lum, better known by her professional name, Aquafina. The farewell and Crazy Rich Asians star is continuing her hot run of form, and is definitely becoming a favorite amongst the House of Mouse. Sisu is the dragon in question in the movie, with the character being a water dragon that has the ability to transform into a human, but needs Raya's help so she can once again become her true dragon self. The character will reportedly lean heavily on Aquafina's dramatic and comedic talents, while sticking to the fun, family-friendly Disney principles. But if you're thinking, yeah, that's all well and good, but this is an MCU list and I don't recall seeing Aquafina, you would have a fair point. That's because she is technically a future MCU star, with her set to appear in the upcoming Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, which, if everything goes to plan, should release in July. Aquafina will play Shang-Chi's friend Katie, who, along with Shang-Chi, fall into the dangerous world of martial arts as they become embroiled with the Ten Rings terrorist group, which should finally lead to the introduction of the one and only Mandarin, the real one this time. Safe to say that there are exciting times ahead for Aquafina, Disney, and Marvel fans. This next one, die-hard Marvel fans will definitely recognize, and we are of course talking about Aquafina's Crazy Rich Asians co-star, Gemma Chan. Marvel fans will know her as one of the antagonists in Captain Marvel, with her playing the Kree character Minerva. But it turns out that it's not the only character she plays in the MCU, and this is down to the fact that, like Aquafina, she will also be appearing in an MCU film this year, The Eternals. Her character Cersei, based upon the character from the Odyssey, is a member of the Eternals and is known for her affinity for mankind with her having the ability of longevity, which is unsurprising seeing that she is an Eternal, along with telekinesis and telepathy to name a few. In Raya and the Last Dragon, she'll be playing Raya's rival, Namari, who is said to be Raya's equal in almost every way. Even the more casual of MCU fans, especially if they have seen Doctor Strange, will likely recognize this next actor and his work in the MCU, Benedict Wong. Wong has appeared in The Martian, Prometheus, and as Prime in the IT crowd. Shout out, by the way, to any fellow IT crowd fans out there. But he's probably best known as the wizard and conveniently named Wong in Doctor Strange, The Avengers Infinity War, and Endgame. But you wanted more? Wong is known for his physical performances and commanding voice, which makes him the perfect choice to play the giant Tong in Raya and the Last Dragon. Wong will be returning to the MCU in the upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and hopefully one day, he'll get his own Prime from IT Crowd spinoff show, although that is admittedly unlikely. Now, this actor admittedly is yet to appear in the MCU and instead appears in the broader world of Marvel properties, but we're gonna be cheeky and use him anyway. We're talking about the Lost and 24 actor Daniel Day Kim, who will be playing the role of Raya's father in the upcoming Disney movie. He's also appeared in two separate Marvel movies as well. He played the part of a military personnel in Eric Bana's 2003 Hulk movie, and yes, I'm trying to forget about that movie too, as well as Doc Ock's assistant Raymond in Sam Raimi's brilliant Spider-Man 2. Although, with the new Spider-Man rumors and the fact that Tobey Maguire might be appearing in it, maybe Spider-Man 2 will be part of the MCU. Last on the list is the great Alan Tudyk, known for his roles in Firefly and iRobot, to name a few. And yes, I am purposely leaving out a big one for a second. And he's going to be playing the role of Tuk Tuk, who is Raya's pet and mode of transport in the movie. Tudyk has also appeared in Marvel Properties, playing the part of Luke in Deadpool 2 and Alistair Cray in Big Hero 6. Like Daniel Day Kim, if rumors are correct, 
Deadpool 3 will be a part of the MCU, therefore potentially also making him an MCU character. But as we said, there is a big Tudyk role we left out. As well as Marvel, Alan Tudyk has appeared in the Star Wars world, which of course is another Disney property as K2SO. And the movie's protagonist, Kelly Marie Tran, has also appeared in the Star Wars universe as Rose in Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker. Outside of Disney and Marvel, but back into the superhero world, Ross Butler, who voices Leader of the Spine, appeared in the DCEU movie Shazam. Alan Tudyk also appears as Mr. Nobody in Doom Patrol, as Oliver Queen in Young Justice, and both Clayface and the Joker in the Harley Quinn animated series. 